like a lot of uh, youngsters, I had no idea what I wanted to do and didn't even really think about it. I've got no family that's ever been a policeman, so where that comes from, I do not know. It was only when I was about 14 that it suddenly occurred to me that's what I wanted to do. When I lived in Haversheath in Sussex, I was I uh, used to go to uh, jazz and uh, discos. So here yeah, we did early teenage because it was the rock and roll period. That was all part of that early scene. Every week we were involved in doing things like that, going to venues to dance. That was um, a common thing. But then that all stopped when I joined the police force because then I had other things to think about. When I got divorced, it was quite a traumatic time. Very sad. I would rather it didn't happen. Obviously my wife at the time and I, we obviously wanted different things in our lives. The ultimate uh, decision, which was no doubt probably the right decision at the time, was to go our separate ways. Well, when you separate from someone, it, it takes its toll and uh, it takes a while to come to terms with it. There's always hurdles, even when you get to my age now, there's always hurdles. You have to deal with it as you find it. Because every situation of a divorce or a broken relationship is, will be different. The characters of each people are different. I suppose all our experiences in life tend to shape us as we are today. I just have evolved in my life through my own experiences. So you can't really put any sort of a guidelines down. It's a case of how each individual is made up and how, they're, how they think they're going to cope. And so I decided that I needed to get back into the social world. And I thought dancing was the right thing to do because it's what I knew. <laughs> Although I'm 79, I'm still quite amazed that I'm able to move around as well as I do. I feel that I'm quite capable of dancing to a good standard, even though I'm quite, you know, getting on in age. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with myself in that respect. I've always had an active lifestyle through my job, through my hobbies. That I like uh, getting involved in doing different things. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite active and I wouldn't want it other way. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to carry on dancing until I pop my clogs. It wouldn't be the same without her. And yes, I would miss it, but I still won't want to do it because um, as far as I'm concerned, she's the only person I really want to dance with. Anita and I first met at uh, a village hall in St. Tudy in Cornwall. I'd already been dancing with another lady. This lady decided that she didn't want to carry on. So then Anita became my dance partner. And then as time went on, she, she became my life partner and she still is today.
Well, my life with Anita is unimaginable. It is perfect, it's just wonderful, it's bliss. I couldn't wish for a better person in my life, you know, she's just so great. And everyone loves her too. Yeah, yeah she's a lovely lady. And I'm glad that Anita and I have found a life together. And of course, um, I love her to bits. Ha, ha, ha.